Good morning, everybody. Um, how is everyone doing? I am absolutely fantastic. It's Monday. Some of you guys know that Mondays are pretty hard for me, but um, I am definitely trying to make it so that Mondays are no different than any other fantastic day. Um, so today, on the way to work, I was listening to a podcast, and it kind of brought me to... Um, I don't normally wear lipstick, and so seeing myself in lipstick makes me l do a double take. Anyways, um, so I was listening to a podcast, and one of the questions that came out in the podcast that I wanted to ask you was, you know, if you can go back in time and go back to when you were a kid, what would you tell yourself as an adult? And, you know, um, when I thought back to that question, it's not the first time I've been asked that question, actually. The first time I've been asked that question was at a... Was at a um, as, was at a self-development workshop and it actually brought out a lot of f feelings and feelings that were very deeply obviously still um, you know ingrained in me and so uh, today I just had a different approach and I had a different um, sense of that sorry um, so the when I think about to my childhood or even just my you know my young adulthood there are so many things that I think all of us can attest to that we had struggled with. And whether that came from, you know, family or friends or school, um, whether it was, you know, as, as hard as, you know, not doing well in school to as, as much more difficult in terms of, you know, maybe abuse or something worse. Um, we all hopefully learn something from what we've come from and it made us the people we are today and so if you can go back in time to tell your younger self whether you were five years old or ten years old or thirteen years old or sixteen years old or, or even twenty-five because I'm forty-three um, what would you tell yourself and so I'm thinking today about you know the biggest struggle I had while growing up and um, it's kind of silly, but I'm sure a lot of girls, maybe even a lot of boys can attest. Um, but, you know, I never had a boyfriend until I was well into university. And even that was kind of like, um, not like we went to the bar and we met each other. It was, it was like kind of just by chance that we met each other. And... <coughs> And he was my first boyfriend and he was my first, you know, everything. And, um, but before that, you know, I, I struggled with being shy. I don't, I don't know if some of you guys would believe that because I'm on a live right now, but I struggled being shy and I don't know why I was shy. I was afraid of what boys would think, even though I was kind of confident, I, I didn't want to make the first move or if I did make the first move, it wasn't really drastic enough for them to pay attention and um, I didn't have a boyfriend until I was well into university now I don't know if that was because my parents you know you know threatened me and said don't have a boyfriend until your university because you know, they wanted me to you know concentrate on my struggles but um, yeah and, and and I think back to you know even the heartbreaks of all the boys I dated uh, while I was a young adult and and I think back to all that, and it made me the person I am today. And, um, you know, as much as, you know, I could have had different memories when I was a kid, dating and holding hands and wanting that so badly and, you know, graduating with somebody I cared about, you know, high school and having these, you know, high school memories. Um, it brought me to a, a different person today, and I'm sure I'd be, I'd be a totally different person um, had I had that kind of you know history and so I think to my my relationship now with my husband and even even through my divorce so for those of you who don't know I've been divorced uh, we didn't have kids um, and it wasn't a very nice divorce obviously not many divorces are nice but this was a bad one you know I, I mean and went to court and everything and we didn't even have kids so this is this is how bad it was but you know even that made me the person I am today you know and um, when I think back to all the different things that brought me to my husband today I think I don't know if I'd ever meet my husband today had a, had all those things never happened so 
You know, if I were to go back in time, I think I would go back in time to uh, probably when I was maybe 13 to 16, where, you know, a lot of my friends were having boyfriends and, you know, experiencing teen love. And I was watching all these movies that, you know, I felt like that should be me. I would tell her that you you will you will find the person who loves you so much you just have to go through things and you just have to understand that all of this is for a reason and when you do meet him <coughs> when you do meet him he will love you so much and he will show you each and every day how much He's growing with you and how much he loves you and how much he appreciates you. You just have to have faith that you have to become a person to to really appreciate and embrace that kind of love, right? Because I did have to go through a bunch of things to really appreciate certain aspects of my husband right now because if I was in a different state of mind, I may not appreciate him as much as I do and see the things that I do see and realize the kind of person I want to be. And so that's what I would tell my younger self is be patient. You are a good person. Focus on your studies. Um, be confident. You are a good person. No matter what life throws at you, there is a reason for everything. And so I would challenge you all who have kids, um, you know, to use those words, you know, I don't, I don't know, I don't have kids, but to use words like that, you know, you're a good person, you deserve so much, but understand that there's a path that you have to take and everything happens for a reason. Just live every day like, you know, it's going to be your best day ever and that should get you to a point where you're meant to be. And so that's what I would tell my kids if I had kids. That's what I would tell my younger self if I could go back in time. And um, appreciate the journey. Even though at times it may feel rocky, appreciate the journey because each part of that journey will teach you a lesson if you're, if you're willing to look for it, right? And that's the key. Learning to look for that life lesson instead of just looking at the outcome look at why it had to happen anyways there's a few of you guys out there want to give a shout out hey Andrew hi Mary hi Athena hi Gabriella hi Teresa I am off to work now and I hope you have a great fantastic week um, I got you all and we'll talk to you soon okay bye bye